When I describe roller derby to other people, I just describe it as a full contact sport on roller skates, kind of like rugby, but no ball. And that's sort of like when all the questions start and then you really have to break it down and like, no, there's two players, there's four jammers, there's four blockers. Um, and it's kind of a simultaneous offense and defense. Um, and then it just gets really complicated. And normally the conversation ends with, do you want to just come and see a game? And then you'll, you'll understand. Roller Derby in London started off as a kind of punk sport, I guess. They started talking about this thing that had come over from America and they were going to give it a go and it was supposed to be kind of punk girls on skates. We have some of the best coaches in the world and they are so innovative and so analytical without the like deprecating element that I've never witnessed that and I would say that that's how London Roller Girls look. The change in roller derby since I started is, I mean, it's almost unrecognisable as a sport, mostly in a good way. Now it's, it's much more um, strategic and athletic and the quality of skating is just so high across the whole country. It's just amazing. If you look at footage from the early games, it was essentially sort of eight people skating around and then two people passing them but with no real like formations and walls it was just everyone skating around quite fast and maybe you'd like whip someone or, or something I don't know but nothing really flash. There are leagues in tiny towns all over the UK um, and I think for that to be sustainable there needs to be a constant influx of new skaters so something that London Roller Girls um, are trying to focus on is developing our junior league. The leagues that are really successful around the world are the ones that are getting skaters before they're 18 and although the, it's a non-contact sport you know, at that age you can really develop those skate skills and the strategic knowledge so that when they turn 18 they can join the adult league and they're already 10 steps ahead of everyone else. It wants to be taken seriously, it wants to be considered a sport in its own right, which it is in my opinion, and I guess the merits of that is that we start to see a woman's sport actually take the main stage and we start to see people developing the sport in a way that's innovative and strengthening and empowering and that equally is as great.